All right, so we're doing long exposures tonight. It's, oh, about 15, 20 minutes before sunset. And it's dark enough we could get a long enough exposure now, but it would be kind of boring light. Um, dark is our friend in this case. So let's go ahead and put the camera on the tripod, because you're going to need a tripod. Okay, maybe I shouldn't have done this on the video. I like my quick releases. <laughs> I can cut it later, or I can speed that part up. Um, we've got our ISO set to 100. It, while it's still bright, we've got our f-stop at 22, just to get our shutter speed up. And at this point, we're looking at a shutter speed of about, oh, 1.6 seconds. So let's take a picture here. I've set up to not only show the moving water, but some of the background as well. Let's set our focus. And I think it's taking a picture. All right. It's a little bit too bright, so let's turn in some exposure compensation. Turn it down a couple of thirds, because I had it set to plus 0.7. Way better, okay, we're at, that was a half a second at F22. A couple of tricks you can use to help your pictures be a little sharper. One is, don't use the center column unless you absolutely have to. You've got three legs on your tripod, that's pretty stable as you come up. Now you've got three legs on a tripod, but a monopod on top of that, and this tends to wobble a little bit. The other thing you can do is set your self-timer. And you can usually go into your menu and set the, the time to maybe two seconds, maybe five seconds. You just want enough time to, so that you push the button and the camera's gonna move a little bit and it's got a couple of seconds to settle down before it actually takes the picture. So we're about five or 10 minutes after sunset at this point and you can see that our foreground here is getting really dark. The major light source is now going to be these incandescent lights that are hanging up between the buildings. And you can see that the sky is going to start, to start gradually getting darker and darker. But our exposure is set for here in the square, so that sky will get darker and bluer over the next 15 or 20 minutes. And in 30 minutes, it will be black, so we can sort of play with the balance. If we photograph the rocks here, with the sky, we can actually add some light in by painting it in with a flashlight. So we're gonna paint the rocks with a flashlight during the exposure. I've adjusted my, my aperture and opened up a little bit to give myself a five second exposure so I'm not standing there quite so long. So let's see how this goes. Wait a minute. We have motion in the backfield, as they said in football. And they're out. Okay, here we go. Shooting. Shutter. And we just slowly paint it in. And let's see what we have. And so we're now dark enough that the sky is definitely darker than these lights. So we've set up a picture with the lights and the empty chair here. According to my meter, we're at three seconds at F16. So let's see what we get. One, two, three. All right, that's pretty cool. We've got our white balance set for the incandescent lights, make them neutral. They're at about 3,000 Kelvin. Those clouds, the white balance up there is about a gazillion degrees, so they go super blue in addition to being a little dark. So it's fun to play around with this stuff.